Yo, what's up everybody? It's your boy Floss, back again with another video. And today we're gonna do a quick unboxing of the Huawei Mate 20 Lite. Now you can pick this up on Amazon. I'll throw the link up in the description. The price on this one, 295 bucks. So this is an official trap phone alert. All right, so let's go through the specs real quick. Now this is a GSM phone. So that means it's gonna work on AT&T and T-Mobile. If you got Sprint or Verizon, you know what to do. Keep it moving. Now the phone comes in three different colors. You got sapphire blue, black, and platinum gold. For the display, you got a 6.3 inch IPS LCD panel with a resolution of 1080 by 2340. Then that's 409 for y'all PPI savages. For the processor, you got the high silicone Kerwin 710 with the Mali G51 MP4 GPU. What does that mean? Budget specs, bro, budget. Now it's running Android 8.1 Optimus Prime with the EMUI 8.2 skin on top. Now you got four or six gigs of RAM with 64 gigs of storage, and you also have a micro SD card slot for expandable memory up to 256 gigs. For the cameras, on the rear, you got a dual setup, so that's 20 megapixels, f1.8, and you also have a two megapixel depth sensor that's gonna give you your portrait mode. On the front, you also have a dual camera setup that's 24 megapixels, f2.0, that's gonna give you wide angles, and you have another two megapixel depth sensor. For the battery, you got a non-removable 3,750 milliamp battery that features fast charge. Now you got your AI camera with your AR emojis. I'll show you how that works. Fingerprint sensor, headphone jack, face unlock, and of course, my favorite feature, thought protection. So what's missing? No IP rating, so it means it's not water resistant and no wireless charge. But for under 300 bucks, this is a budget phone, so we're gonna treat it like that. All right, so let's unbox this and see what it is. Shout out to White Shoes, she got the day off. Huawei Mate 20 Lite. Okay, nice black box, giggity. Let's grab a little unboxing knife, what we got on deck today. Shout out to the Incredible Hope, RIP Stan Lee. Here we go, Ra. One more, Ra. Okay, Huawei Mate 20 Lite. Okay, now I went with the gold, why not? Here we go. Let's peel this off, Ra. Woo! That's what I'm talking about. Now I haven't had a gold phone in a minute. So that gold just kind of hit me in my mouth. I like that. <laughs> Let me peel this off the front. Let's see, did we need, did we miss anything? Okay, um, so somebody gonna have to translate that. We got the Pantalon full view, full view. Camera, curl it all. I right, let me let me not even do it to myself. Here we go. Ra. Power this up. Now, one thing I will say, fresh out of the box, it definitely feels okay. Right? It doesn't feel super heavy and super premium. Kind of has a lightweight feel to it. But again, it's a budget phone, so we're gonna treat it like that. Let's see what else you get now. Here's your SIM ejection tool. Let me save that. Let's see, usual books and shit, pluck them and follow them. Now this one actually came with a real book. <laughs> this is what it is. Let's see, you got a case. Okay, screen protector, flimsy one. Save that also. Your standard gel skin case, nothing fancy, but it will protect the phone. Let's just slap it on, get that out the way. Let's see, you got a little bit of razivity on the case. Nothing fancy. All the cutouts, buttons, cutouts, buttons. Basically, you're just gonna protect your phone. That's it for that. Let's see, you got USB Type-C charging cable. Very modern. Here's your fast charging brick. And check this out. Got a little set of headphones with an actual answer and end phone call button. Now I'm doing this the hard way. I could just peel it off, why not? Nice looking little headphones right here. I ain't mad at that. It's a little button right here. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? It's a little button. I ain't mad at that at all. Keep in mind, under 300 bucks, if y'all know my scale, that officially makes this a budget phone. Now, is this gonna be the budget phone of the year? Because right now, we got that Pocophone F1 that's really killing the game. One thing I gotta mention, Pocophone F1, even though technically it's under 300 bucks, if you go on Amazon right now, they want 350 for it. So that's not really budget phone prices. Anything over 300, you're getting into mid-range category. But this one is pretty sick. We'll go over this in a minute. All right, here we go. Let's see, do we got any screen? Now, of course, 
Got that big ass notch on the front. We could get rid of that. Dual cameras. There's your SIM tray. Dual cameras on the rear. Flash, fingerprint sensor, power button, volume up and down. Single firing speaker from the bottom, USB type C, headphone jack. I like that. Hashtag bars. It is what it is. All right, let me set this up. I'll put my information in, then we'll breeze through the OS. Let me get one wipe down. Why not? Y'all need to see this gold. I miss gold phones, man. I don't know why companies stop making these gold phones. I like this. All right, anyway, <laughs> let me set this up. Talk amongst yourselves. All right, y'all, so we back in. Now, I just put my information in the phone. I've been playing around with it for a few minutes, and I got to keep it real with y'all. So far, fresh out of the box, out of all of the phones that I had this year, for under 300 bucks, this is the best trap phone of the year. All right, this is the new budget king. Now, let me say this. If you could get the Poco phone for 300 and under, then this would easily be the best trap phone of the year. But for me, I paid 360 for this Poco. If you go on Amazon right now, it's 350. Now, if you say 350 is a budget phone, that's on you. But for me, once you pass 300 bucks, that's getting into mid-range prices. And I look at it like this. If you're gonna spend 350 for the Poco phone, you might as well spend the extra 50 and get the Mi Mix 2S. All right, this is clearly a better phone than the Poco. Now, if we're talking about 300 and under, right now, the Mate 20 Lite, this is the king of the budget phones. This phone is sick. I right, got some dope features on it too. I'm gonna show you how they work. First things first, build quality. Now it's a little bit lightweight, but I definitely like the build better than the Poco. All right, you got that glass back as opposed to non-glass that just makes it kind of look cheap. Beautiful glass back design. Feels good in the hands. Ladies, you know the procedures. Now of course it's a little bit lightweight, but you gotta remember, it's not the Mate 20 Pro. Both of these have glass backs, but this one has a heavier feel, definitely a little bit more premium. We'll talk about this one in a minute too. That might be the phone of the year. But anyway, back to the Mate 20 Lite. So build quality, I'm definitely feeling it. I love this gold color. This is dope. Now check this out. You got a bunch of different ways you can open up the phone. You can swipe up, put your padding in. You do have face unlock. See how fast that is? Check this out. Super fast. Now look, I'm not going to look at it. Now look at it. Pops right open. So facial unlock on this, A1. And you also have your fingerprint sensor. Works 100% of the time. Pretty fast. All right, so no problems with that. Keep in mind, this is a $300 phone. All right, so I know somebody's gonna say, oh, it, it feels like it's not as fast as this, it's not as fast as that. It's $300, bro, calm down. No problems with the face unlock, no problems with the fingerprint sensor. Now, let's go through the uh, OS real quick. As far as the display, now, of course, I got this on Savage Max Brightness. The display is very bright, and it looks good. I mean, it's not quad HD. It's nothing to write home to your parents about, but it's dope. I, the theme of this video is you get what you pay for and more. All right, so if you get what you pay for, you're happy. But if you get more than what you pay for, that's a good look. And with this phone, you definitely getting a lot more than you pay for. Let's go to the settings real quick. All right, so you got your basic toggles. You got your ride mode, hotspot, location, screenshot button. I like that. Let's see anything else. You got your navigation dock. Yeah, I know the floating bar. We don't got to go through that. You got a screen record. I, that's always important for me. And you got your eye comfort for reading your scumbag messages in the middle of the night. Let's go over the settings. Now, one thing that is missing, there's no NFC. All right, but when you're buying budget phones, NFC is not on the top of your priorities. If you're looking for NFC, you're going to have to spend a little bit more. No NFC on this one. No wireless charge. It is what it is. Let's go to, uh, yeah, as you can see right here, this is dual SIM, but no NFC. Let's go to uh, Bluetooth. You got mirror share. All right, so you can pair this with your TV if you want. Let's go to battery. Now you got your power saving mode. So right now, approximately 17 hours and five minutes left. If I put on power saving mode, 22 hours. Ultra power saving mode, four days. 
All right? Now, that's what you need when you're buying a trap phone. A lot of times, you don't want to bring that in the house. That might be your scumbag phone. It might be your work phone, your backup phone. You want to just leave it in the car, and every time you need it, it's ready. So you put this on ultra power saving mode, leave it fully charged, put it in your glove compartment, and you can rock out for the whole week with minimal usage, charge it up every now and then. All right, so I like that. Let's go to our display. Okay, so you got, let's go to color modes. Now you got normal, warm, and default. So if you put it on warm, it's gonna give you that yellowish hue. And you got cold, which is ice cold. Now I'm gonna leave it on cold because I'm a cold hearted motherfucker. Let's keep it moving. You got, uh, let's go to eye comfort. Now you can turn eye comfort on. That's for reading your messages in the middle of the night. Do what you do. I'll leave that. Let's leave that off. Why not? <laughs> leave that off. Home screen style. Now you got app draw or no app draw. Let me show you what that looks like. So this is basically no app draw. Now I didn't bother downloading all my apps because I'm giving this phone away in my Christmas special with Amaya. I'll talk about that at the end of the video. Let's add, let's add an app draw. Where was we? Let's go to settings. We'll go to our app drawer. Take a quick second to reset. Now I got an app drawer. So there's all my apps. Now, personally, I'll leave this one with no app drawer. Oh, why not? Who cares? Let's keep it moving. What else we got? Let's go to, I got full screen display, notch. Now check this out. That's nacho cheese. Y'all know I had to say it. You got that big dumbass notch, but if you don't like that, Get it out the way, press one button. Google, pay attention. You notice all the information stays the same. Nothing moved, just the background. All right, that's how you do it. If you wanna get rid of the notch, do it like that. Now, some people don't like the notch, some people do. Ah, on a little bullshit phone like this, I don't really care. I'll just leave it on, why not? Why not? Let's see, you got screen resolution. Now, you can leave this on smart, or you can leave it on custom, that'll push it to full HD. So I'll just leave it on, <laughs> on custom. Why do we need, unless you wanna save battery, other than that, you already paid for it. Get the maximum view and uh, enjoyment. <laughs> Let's keep it moving. What else? Let's go to sound. Now one speaker from the bottom, but it is pretty loud. I'll do a little sound test you hear for yourself. Okay, you got more settings. Okay, you got screenshot, turn out on and off. One thing that I, I will mention also, I, I, I just saw Xerxes just took my headphones. If you plug the headphones in, then you have another menu where you can change the sound settings. I listen to a couple of songs on YouTube with the headphones in. <sighs> M-E-H. I do not buy this phone thing. You're getting some uh, LG uh, V40 quad deck and all that. No, I no. you're not getting that. You're getting regular music, all right? regular degular. Let's keep it moving. Anything else? Let's see. Uh, let's go to storage. 64 gigs now, 48 gigs available. I didn't really download any apps. Depending on how you use this, you might not even need that expandable memory, but you got it if you need it. Let's see, you got face unlock, fingerprint sensor, private space. Private space, AKA thought protection. Let's talk about that in a second. Let's go to smart assistance. All right, so you got your one-handed UI. All right, so you got a uh, mini screen view. Now this phone is 6.3 inches, that's kind of big. Giggity. If you got small hands, shrink it down. Shifting keyboard, you're never gonna need that. Motion controls. All right, so you got flip to mute. All right, so you uh, <laughs> you left your phone on ring and you're at work and you get that phone call, your phone's supposed to be off. Flip it over real quick, it'll mute it. Pick up, the phone is ringing, pick it up. All right, pick it up, it'll answer the phone. Raise to ear, all right? So now say you're breezing through a text message, you wanna call, raise it to your ear, it'll call that number. You got your three finger screenshot, y'all seen that already. You got the knuckle gestures, which I'm starting to hate. But you know, you hit the knuckle, draw the line, you get the split screen. I'll show you how that, how that works, but starting to hate that. You got your draw, draw different letters, activate uh, different options. So let me show how that works. Draw the letter C. A oh, matter of fact, let me gotta hit the button. Draw the letter C, that activates the camera. Now you can switch that up, do whatever you want. Let me open this back up. You got different uh, letters that you could draw. Draw C for camera, E for the Chrome internet. Draw M, W, switch them up, play with them if you want. Let me see, now let's see. Um, all right, so we got the uh, knuckle screenshot, uh, smart screenshot. Let's see, um, blah, 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 blah. Let's try this real quick. Do I got a YouTube? Let me open up a YouTube browser. All right, so check the knuckle gestures. 
Say I went over to YouTube. If I want to take a quick screenshot, double knock, get the screenshot. Now say I want to do split screen, hold one knock, split it in half. Now I can do uh, Chrome and YouTube at the same time. So I got Apple, Apple.com, and I got some YouTube. Now speaking of YouTube, let's check the speakers on this and the display. Let's wipe it down, why not? Here's your display. This is max volume. One bottom firing speaker, it does sound pretty good. I like dual speakers better, but again, this is a budget phone, bro, calm down. All right, let's keep it moving. Now, if y'all wanna see internet browsing speeds, apple.com. All right, we'll go to Apple. Here's the full website. All the pictures, nice and smooth. All right, no problems with that. So far, no lag, no hiccups, but that's what you expect. All right, now, before I show you the thought protection, I think the best part about this phone is the camera. Let's take it over to the camera real quick. All right, here we go. Now you got, let's go to different modes. You got aperture, you got your AR lens. Now, AR lens, this is pretty cool, all right, pretty cool. It's very iPhone-ish, all right? It's not on the same level as the iPhone, but it's pretty cool. Now, I'm gonna look at this. Let me see if I can talk. Look, look. Now, watch the watch the picture, that's me talking. Hi, tested, tested, one, two, three. I'm shaking my head side to side. Smile, frown. You got different ones, I see you got your, uh, got the blowfish, ruff, ruff. got the wolf. The husky, <laughs> let's see, meow, <laughs> you got the cat, I know, this is cute, some cute shit, right, I like that, you got the rabbit, robot, got the penguin, this is real cute, you got your cherry with the Beats headphones on, I like that, now, it's not as in detail, as uh, as much detail as the uh, iPhones, the iPhones, when I move one eye, one eye moves on the screen, this one, let me sorry, I'm gonna, I'm gonna try to close one eye, Oh, not bad. Let me close the left eye. Okay, close both eyes. Smile. Frown. This is open mouth. Ah, uh, not bad at all. I, I'm pretty impressed. Now, a lot of people are gonna say this is a gimmick. This is kind of cheesy. But if you're a cheesy type dude like me, you're gonna like this kind of stuff. All right, I like some of the little fun cheesy stuff. I like that. I like that. All right, let's keep it moving. Now, check this out. You got backgrounds. Let me show you how this works. Let's add a background. Y'all can't really see, but you see it's like some colorful shit. Giraffes. <laughs> Added music. I like that. Let's see. This is some black and white type shit. I'm back here looking like a savage. Oh, look at me on vacation. All right. See the palm trees in the background? You get the idea. You get the idea. Let's switch over to, uh, you got 3D objects also. And I can't really show y'all that one. Oh, matter of fact, can I? I'm trying to show y'all the 3G, 3D objects. Let's add an umbrella. I right, look, there, there it goes. You see that? This is kind of like the Google Pixel pay, uh, Playground. This is kind of cute, though. It's kind of cute. Let's see if we can see. Look, got a dude and uh, a penguin in the pool. Okay, it's like, um... One of these uh, <laughs> 3D objects. This is this is a good time killer. All right, you at work, at your bullshit job, and you gotta kill time. I know I'm a professional at doing this. I'll be at work doing shit like this all day. This is kind of cool though. This is kind of cool. But let me show you something else. Let's keep it moving. Let's um let's exit out of this. Let's go over to the regular camera. All right, so you got portrait mode, which is pretty good. Photo, video and more. Now when you go to more, this is one thing I like about Huawei phones, there's no shortage of features, options, you wanna call them gimmicks, call them that if you want. But you got pro mode, slow motion, night, panoramic, light painting, HDR, time lapse, filter, 3D panoramic, watermark, document scan, artist mode, and you can download more. Now I wanna show you the best part about this camera, artificial intelligence. Now I just posted a picture 
I'll show you that picture real quick. Let me pull it up. I posted a picture on Instagram using the Mate 20, all right, Mate 20 uh, Pro. This one right here, and everybody was going crazy. Oh, what camera is that? Because this picture just came out so boss. Artificial intelligence. Now, let me show you how that works. You got the same thing on this phone right here. All right, so you got motion shots. You see AI? You turn AI on and off. All right, so we'll turn AI on. Let me pull up my recently shot photos. Check this out. Now, here's a picture of a tree. Look at the bottom. You see it says plant? It just said plant. I'm trying to get this where y'all can see it. You see it says plant. Where my thumb is at? Plant. Scroll over once. See it says flower. Scroll over again. You see it says cat. Scroll over one more. You see it says dog. The artificial intelligence camera is the best thing since sliced bread. Trust me when I tell you. When you outside... And you just point your phone up. Maybe you want to take a picture out of a building. You take a picture of a car. It's automatically going to know that you're outside. It's going to adjust that background. Now, some people actually don't like it because if it's a blue sky, it's going to make that sky extra blue. But if you're posting pictures on Facebook and Instagram and Snapchat, you don't really care about the, the oh, I need the right, right color balance and the depth and the white and the hues and the tones, all that fancy photography bullshit lingo. You're not going to care about that. I know I don't. I don't. When I'm posting a picture of a ham sandwich, or I'm posting a picture of a nice car outside, I want that background to be extra blue. I want the blacks to look extra black. I want everything to look vivid and pop out. Now, if you're trying to get busy and take some real photos, then you put it on pro mode and do your thing. But the artificial intelligence is perfect for these social media sites. All right, so the camera on this phone might be the best part about the phone. Definitely. Big giant battery is going to last you all day. You got fast charge. You're going to have a lot of fun with these cameras. No qualms with the build quality. Now, one thing I forgot to mention also, you see the face unlock? If you want, you can switch that. Let me let me switch it up. I'll show you what I'm talking about because a lot of people was hitting me up when I did the uh, Mate 20 video, Mate 20 Pro. Let's go to settings, right? So we'll go over to settings. Let's find that real quick. Let's do, mm, all right, face unlock. Let's go to... Uh, Face unlock. Let me put my little password in. You know what I'm saying? I got a little password. Now check this out. You got direct unlock or slide to unlock. Now if you put it on slide to unlock, that's going to make it open up like an iPhone. So now you see that little lock? It recognized my face. Now I got to slide it open. Personally, I like that better than doing this. All right, if you do this, you see you pick, you pick up your phone, automatically unlocks. You don't have a time, you don't have a chance to see your notifications. So I like when I pick up my phone, I get to see my notifications. If it's something that I don't really need to check, chances are I don't even have to open the phone. So I like to have it with a swipe like that. That's a nice option to have. So you have that option and you also have the notch option. Now, before I get out of here, y'all already know, you, if you're buying this as a trap phone, you're going to need some thought protection. Now, let me clarify something real quick. When I say thought protection, I'm just having fun on YouTube, having fun with the fellas and the ladies and all that. But it's not necessarily only for cheating or being a scumbag or being a scuzz bucket. Thought protection also could be called kid protection. Some of y'all don't have kids, but people that have kids, you know, when you're chilling with your phone. Now, this happens to me all the time. I'm chilling. I got a new phone. My daughter's always going to be like, oh, let me see your phone. She want to see the new phone. So now before I give her the phone, I got to make sure I wasn't doing some scumbag activities last night or make sure I'm just not being, a, <laughs> being my usual savage self. So before I give her the phone, I want to protect it to make sure that I don't scar her for life and scar myself. That's kid protection. Same thing. Maybe you at work and your boss is like, oh, you got the new you got that new Huawei phone. Let me check it out. You don't want your boss to accidentally pick your phone and go to your Instagram and your last post is fuck my job. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Oh, don't you hate working for these bitch ass bosses? You don't want them to see that. You don't want them to see that. So you want thought protection. How does that work? Simple. Here's my regular phone. All right, we'll swipe and unlock. Let's go over to Instagram. Here's my Instagram. All right. Everybody doing their thing. Holiday season. Everybody all booed up looking cute. I like that. I like that. All right, let's see. So I'm about to get knocked out. Okay, anyway. All right, so that's my Instagram. Let's go over to Facebook. Here's my Facebook. All right. <laughs> Shout out to my dude. Hello, oh, that's me. That's me. That's me doing it big. All right, that's my Facebook. Keep it pushing. And let's go over to photos. 
quick photo that I shot. Let's take a quick picture real quick. A quick picture real quick. All right, it's a picture of a nice Huawei box. All right, so you get the idea. This is my phone. Now, when I want to thought protect it, or kid protect it, or work protect it, or just protect it, protect it, turn it off. I'm going to use my thought print. Hit the button. Now, check this out. Automatically switches over to another phone. Now, if you notice, the background is different. You got different apps, all of my thought apps right on the top. So let's take it over to Instagram, nothing logged in. Let's take it over to Facebook, nothing logged in on Facebook. We got Tinder, all right, we got Soul Swipe. Now, if y'all don't know what Soul Swipe is, that's the black Tinder, all right, that's the hood version of Tinder. And of course, we got X videos, for when I just happen to be on Baby Oil Patrol. Now, this is, some, this is exactly when you don't wanna hand somebody your phone you happen to be playing with your phone, and somebody says, oh, let me see your phone real quick. That's that new Huawei joint. Oh, this is nice. And they accidentally click on X video. It's game over. Somebody's going to be somebody's gonna be mad. All right? Or somebody's going to be scarred. Now let's go over the camera. No photos taken. Now, if I want to switch back over to regular, all right, back to normal activities, open up with my regular fingerprint, and now we're back to regularly scheduled programming. Now, one thing I did notice yesterday after using the Xiaomi phones, you see now, you seen that little switch? That wasn't the fastest in the world. Check this out. Where's that? Where's that Xiaomi joint? Check this out. Now, look at the Xiaomi phone. All right, let's open this one up. Make sure I don't got no scumbag moves. All right, look at the Xiaomi phone. I'm going to open this up. That's regular. Now, watch stop protection on the Xiaomi. Let's open that one up. Look how fast that was. Back to regular. Just like that, I'm getting notifications. Back to thought. Almost instant transition. So right now I gotta call it, Xiaomi is the new king of thought protection, but hey, I'd rather have it <laughs> a little bit slower than not have it at all. Now, now this is not just because this is the budget Huawei phones. Even on my Mate 20 Pro, the thought protection switches over a little bit on the slower side. All right, not the fastest transition in the world, but it'll get, it'll get you out of trouble. <laughs> it, it does the job. All right, now let's take it back over. Let's see, let's take it back over real quick. Less than three seconds, that's still not bad. All right, so we can't even complain about that. Anyway, like I said, for under 300 bucks, 295 bucks, that's under 300. All right, for under 300 bucks, let me get a wipe down so I can blind y'all with that gold one more time. Woo! Under 300 bucks, this is the trap phone of the year. All right, this is the best budget phone I've used so far. Now, like I said, if you got 350 bucks and you want to get the Poco phone, don't do it. Spend that extra 50 and get the Xiaomi, the Mi Mix 2S. Anyway, two things I want to mention. Now, the video's over. Two things I want to mention real quick. Number one, yesterday I was catching a lot of flack all right, for reviewing this Xiaomi Mi Mix 2S. Let me explain something to y'all about my channel. All right, let me explain something to it. Because somebody was like, I got some explaining to do. Let me do some explaining real quick. When you see me review a phone that's old. Now, this is pretty old in the phone game. It's been out for a couple of months already. When you see me do a phone that's old, that's not because I, nev I never knew that it was out. I didn't know nothing about it. When you see me do a phone like this, I'm only doing it for two reasons. One, somebody requested this video. All right, so this was a special request video. I just hate saying that at the beginning of every video, but I, a lot of these phones and stuff that I do is request videos. You know, because that's how I do. I, I, I respect all y'all for watching my videos, so when y'all ask me to do something, if I could do it, I'll do it. So this was a request video. I had no intentions of buying this Xiaomi phone. I could have got it when it first came out, but I didn't want it. I didn't want it. I, if, if, I would say if more than 20 or 30 people ask me to do something, then I'll do it. Then I'll do it. Just like all week long, I've been getting requests to do the Mate 20X. Now I already got a Mate 20 Pro. I don't really need the X. How many Huawei phones I need in the same month. But I've been getting a thousand requests to do it. So I'm going to do that on Friday. So that's one reason. If you see me doing a phone that's old, that's because it's a special request video. Number two, if you see me doing a phone that's kind of old, that also means that it's not available on Amazon. 
just like LG V40. Like certain phones, I'm not buying from carriers and I'm not buying from eBay and all these other websites. I'm only buying from Amazon because that's how I roll. I, I, I know if there's any problems, any qualms, I could get my money back like that. All right, so certain times if a new phone comes out, if it's not on Amazon yet, you're not going to see it on my channel until it hits Amazon. Just like the Mi Mix 3. Now, I am going to do the Mi Mix 3. The day that it comes out on Amazon, I'm buying it and we'll do that. Same thing with the Mate 20X. Huawei, they did not want to send me a review unit. And that's cool. I respect that. <laughs> I respect that. So I had to wait till it comes out on Amazon. It just hit Amazon. I ordered it yesterday morning. So it'll be here on Friday. So we'll get into that on Friday. Now, as far as request videos, if y'all want to see anything specific, I don't care if it's old, man. This ain't a race. A lot of people don't understand. This ain't a race. It's not a competition. I'm not in a competition with any other YouTuber. Oh, I got to be the first person to have the Mi Mix video. No, that's it. That's not me. I don't care. Like a lot of these phones, I don't really care about LG V40. That's pretty much kind of old right now. But a lot of people have been asking me to, to review that. So I might just get one and review it if enough people want to see it. Me personally, I was going to pass on that one. One more thing I wanted to mention. Now, holiday season is coming up. So I am taking um I'm taking uh, uh suggestions for videos, but starting December first, I'm gonna be doing a lot of holiday gift idea videos. I right, a lot of cheap shit, a lot of quick, easy, simple, and effective tech, a lot of holiday gift ideas. I'm gonna do those kind of videos starting from December first, and I'll do maybe eight to ten products in each video. I'll do about five of them. Also for New Year's, I right, New Year's, me and Amaya we doing a stream. I'm giving away. I'm giving away five phones. I'm giving away five phones. I'm giving away a bunch of other stuff too, but I'm giving away five phones on New Year's. Me and Amaya, this is one of them. And um, hit me up in the comments and let me know what y'all want me to give away. I'll give away a OnePlus 6T. I'm giving away uh, a Huawei. Let's, let, let's do it like this. I'll give, matter of fact, let's do six phones. I'll do two budget phones, two mid-range phones, and two flagship phones. All right, for everybody that tunes into my New Year's stream, it's not a contest. You ain't got to enter. You ain't got to subscribe. Just chill with me on New Year's. Get your drink on, and we'll have a little fun. Anyway, this is a Huawei Mate 20 Lite. Like I said, for under 300 bucks, this is a major, major go. Shout out to everybody rocking with me on Facebook, Foursquare, Twitter, Google+. Shout out to all the Google gangsters. I see y'all holding down that Facebook page. Shout out to everybody hitting me up on Voxer. And a special shout out to everybody rocking with me on Instagram. Y'all know that's where I'm at full time. 100% full throttle. And a special shout out to everybody rocking with the new stream on Sundays. Y'all already know. Stream Gangsters on deck. Get your drinks ready. No meat was allowed. Oh yeah. Special shout out to everybody following me on Snapchat. Flossy underscore Carter. That's where I'm at. And a special shout out to the notification squad. I'll see y'all in the comment section early. Hashtag salute. Oh yeah, one more thing. I almost forgot. Fellas, ladies, say it with me. All y'all haters, all y'all trolls, close your eyes and picture me rolling. It's your boy Flocks, I'm out. Deuces. Spock won the beam up. Energize. Yo, what's up, everybody? It's your boy Floss. Back again with another video. And today we're going to take a look at the Mini O True Wireless Bluetooth Speakers.